Hey, what is up, people? How is it going? Time ago, I used to say, Hey, this is Ren from Colombia. I'm 21, 22, 23. I'm 27 now. And last month, oh, well, this month, the last week, I turned 27. You are here in this presentation channel because you are uh, interested in learning English. You are interested in learning English like me. You want to to enjoy this uh, beautiful process. I'm gonna encourage you to enjoy this progress because if you need to learn English for anything, you need uh, to be fluent. You need lose you uh, lose to the freight. You need to lose lose afraid. Don't be afraid. Yeah. Well, guys, this opportunity, I want to mention one thing about uh, what is it after you spend five or four years of your life trying to speak English perfectly, awesomely well. Well, I'll resume this, and I'll and I'm going to talk about this topic because I've seen most of you, or some people are watching the video that I made on the center the last level which is a big one i think since some people ask me what is the last level or, or the level you're supposed to be if you if you cross if you pass uh, that that curse the thing is that you may have a b1 perhaps a a a2 in the curse doesn't guarantee you your level. So I mean, you may have a B1, perhaps a B2, but that's, it doesn't determine what you are actually. I mean, the, the exercise can be done by someone with a le lower level and advanced level, no matter how. Which, if you make that curse, uh, it will teach you many things. You will have the chance to practice, which I think is one of the greatest parts of taking an English course. So I remember being able to pronounce well, being able to articulate my 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 thoughts. I remember being able to express certain ideas, although my fluency wasn't that perfect. It, neither it is now, but it's a process. After that, perhaps it be one you start diving into a broader level, a broader, a level that takes more time, right? And in my case, I I don't feel like studying anymore. Like two years ago, perhaps I don't study. I don't I don't put words, which I think is something cool. If you put words that you don't know. And it's my alarm. At eight, eight in the morning, I gotta work. So yeah, it's this thing of just men using the language, using the things you know, and with the pass of the time, you will learn the things that you need to know. So as you see, I had like perhaps two months without making a video, and I I was struggling and thinking, oh my god. Am I forgetting the words? Am I forgetting my vocabulary? I will I be allowed to speak and to come across with the words that I need to use to convey the message? And no, none of that is happening because no matter if I don't make videos, this is a way to practice. So, but fortunately, I've I've incorporated the um, goal of reading, reading and analyze topics and books and stuff like that. I've done this because of I wanted to improve my English and I think this is something that is helping me out many aspects of my life. And yeah, as I mentioned, I'll be here to be that guy like, okay, that guy started from... 20% and now it's 90% of um, his English level. 
so I'm planning on making some course or some test about how with my knowledge uh, how I will grade if I make the TOEFL or something like that so that will be amazing to do so it's just a matter of finding the time and making the video so any question you have something so any any ways I will complement what I said or one in the description box I recommend you to read and comment about it yeah I'll see you around I hope I'll make another video uh, so within a couple of days hours month I don't know I'll see you around thank you so much for watching